The treatment of uh, elderly patients uh, with acute myeloid leukaemia has always been extremely challenging. Uh, half the population are over the age of 65 and uh, long-term survivors are, are extremely few. Uh, intensive chemotherapy is incredibly toxic and low-dose chemotherapy uh, really has a very low rate of uh, remissions, uh, less than 20% and uh, few survivors beyond six months. So uh, with a lot of interest in this new drug uh, called Venetoclax, uh, which targets a, a pro-survival protein called BCL2, uh, which then releases uh, a wave of uh, uh, pro-death molecules, which can really help to uh, tip the balance in favour of uh, cancer cells dying. Uh, a phase one, two clinical trial was performed, uh, combining venetoclax with a very old drug called uh, low-dose um, citarabine. Citarabine was first discovered in the, in the 1950s, um, and really we have a, a partnership between something old and something new. What we found in this study of uh, 61 patients is that venetoclax, which is a, a tablet and administered, administered uh, from days one to 28, in combination with uh, a low dose of cytarabine, which was given as a subcutaneous injection once a day, which made it very convenient uh, for outpatient use, uh, produced very impressive uh, uh, complete remission rates, uh, uh, totaling 62% uh, in the patient uh, population study. Furthermore, there were certain uh, cytogenetic characteristics uh, which predicted for an even higher uh, clinical response rate. And we're starting to tease out now what factors uh, molecularly and cytogenetically uh, predict for a good response. Furthermore, uh, unlike uh, low-dose citarabine, which uh, only gives response rates on the order of uh, 11 to 19 percent and where response durations were, were quite short, with venetoclax in combination with low-dose ROC, uh, survival um, durations uh, were beyond 12 months, uh, which is really quite uh, uh, different to what we've seen uh, before. So our hope is that uh, this uh, new combination regimen uh, may become a potential future standard of care and to try and deliver this uh, treatment combination uh, into the routine clinic, uh, a randomised uh, phase three study uh, has now commenced and uh, we hope uh, that the results will continue to be uh, uh, very encouraging.